Hey everyone, I am doing a tag, although was I tagged? I don't know, but two of the people that I love to watch who are my friends in real life as well, uh, Kristen Game and Lisa SC09 both did this tag. I know it was started by Unlimited Elizabeth. I will link all three of those people below, but um, I have some fall fashion must-haves for you. I've been looking forward to filming this video for a really long time, but the only reason I didn't jump on this sooner is because it still isn't really fall where I live. It's still in the 80s, uh, even in the 90s a little bit, so this is more of wishful thinking. But these are the pieces that when it does start to cool off, I am going to have ready to go. In fact, I've even kind of worn, I've worn some of these already and just sweated and suffered because I just couldn't wait. So the first thing I wanna talk about isn't so much fashion that you would wear outside of your house, but it is, I think, fashion. You can go to bed dressed, frumpy and in your oversized ratty old sweats and t-shirts and yoga pants or you can try to look a little cuter when you go to bed even if no one is there to see you you know you look cute and I have got to talk about my absolute favorite line of pajamas you can get them at Target I just picked up some new pieces for fall my version of fall that is um, it's by the brand Gilligan O'Malley which is a house brand at Target and I am wearing this is um, look at this cute little pocket it's a very lightweight long sleeve shirt and um, I got mine in a medium I like it a little bit looser and that is the softest cotton it feels so I just I love it and I bought the matching pants in black and again it's a really really thin cotton so if you like a little bit of coverage at night but you do still get warm this is the perfect I think um, fall type pajama to wear you can easily throw a robe over it if you get cold if you're wandering around the house some slippers but if not not only are you going to look cute in bed, but when you roll out of bed in the morning, you know, you kind of, you look a little put together, a little better than your big flannel PJs. Anyway, love Gilling It O'Malley, soft as cotton. I just, ugh, love it. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about for fall is something you definitely want to wear out of the house, and it's a must-have for fall, and that is denim. And I'm not talking about jeans, although my one piece of clothing that I love to wear more than anything is a great pair of jeans. I'm talking about denim from here down. So a couple things I want to show you, and I apologize in advance. I just washed them and I have not steamed them, so use, use your imagination. I got a lot of my favorite denim pieces from Old Navy, so this is sort of more of a tunic type shirt that you can get from there. Also, um, your traditional, more chambray I'd say than denim, um, you know, your typical button down shirt, also from Old Navy. My favorite piece of all time, I love it, I've already worn it, you can wear it in the, you know, warm-ish type weather, but it definitely transitions excellently into fall and winter, is this dress that I will insert a picture of me wearing because the, uh, just me holding it up like this doesn't do it justice. It's from Soft Surroundings. It's a tensile denim dress, so it's this really soft fabric that is completely wrinkled because I just pulled this out of my laundry hamper, so I'm going to wash it and put it on and take a picture and insert it in just a minute, but um, it's a beautiful, incredibly soft denim style dress it has it buttons all the way down so you can decide how much you want to show here and how much you want to show your legs it has these great cuffs that you can roll up that has the you know the tab where you can button it right there um i got mine in an extra small which is a new one for me i usually don't size down that small in a dress um i think soft surroundings is geared towards a more mature audience so their sizes are a little more forgiving uh, I normally wear a size 4 in a dress, but uh, and I thought even with my chest that I would need the small, but actually the extra small worked out great. The thing I like about it is its versatility. You can wear it, like I did the other day to Aaron's house, my friend Aaron Busby, I wore it you know, with the sleeves rolled up and a pair of sandals. In the fall, when it really gets cold, I can't wait to wear it with black leggings and either ankle boots or brown, brown boots. I can throw a vest over it, which we'll talk about in a minute. I can put a long shirt underneath it. I mean, it's just, it's an incredibly versatile piece and you can dress it up, you can dress it down. I am so excited to have it. So if you buy one thing, get a really great denim dress. Now, another favorite, it's always been a favorite. This is geared, of course, towards those of us who don't live north of the Mason-Dixon line, cardigans. Where I live, it can be 70, 80 degrees and then it can drop to 60, 50 or lower in the space of one day. And so the key for my fall, lay my fall looks are always layers. And my favorite thing to wear as layers are cardigans. Here's a black one. I mean, they're not very exciting to look at. I like the longer ones, like this one, 
um, more of a boyfriend cut. I have one in black, I have one in gray. I really want to get one in navy, and my favorite place to get cardigans is Target. Um, we're back to Target again. They're really soft. What I like about them is they are generally, they're from the Mossimo brand, they're very soft. You can see almost see through them. They're very lightweight, so for layering, I just think it's greater. It looks nicer on, it lays against your body nicer, it doesn't add bulk to your frame, but it does keep you warm and a little bit stylish. If you're worried about too much fabric, you can always belt it. They're just, they're great things to have. For me, fall weather means football season. And I have a son that plays in middle school, I have a son that plays on the JV team for his high school, and of course we also have to support our team at the varsity game. So I go to three football games a week. And I have learned that the key to an accessory at the football game is a crossbody bag. Now, the ones I'm going to show you are definitely on the higher end, but um, it's just keep in mind that's what I have and it's more of the style than the specific brand. So the one I like the most is this one and I actually got this for my birthday and I bought it specific, or I, I didn't buy it, I told my husband I wanted this one specifically because of football season coming up. Um, it's not particularly large, but it's big enough that I can get everything that I want inside it. I can wear it crossbody, which is how I generally wear it. So when I'm sitting in the bleachers, it doesn't interfere with my arm movement, but it's not going to fall down and fall underneath the bleachers, which would be tragic. So this is the Gucci Disco Bag, and I got it in this pewter color because I just think it's a little more versatile. Another crossbody bag that I happen to have that, again, um, I'm not apologizing for it, I just realized that it's definitely not something you're just going to run out and grab for the heck of it. This is a smaller crossbody bag. This is by Louis Vuitton. It's their, I think it's the Eva bag. It does have the crossbody as well. Um, I like this one less for this particular purpose because the strap is actually pretty long. So it, it hangs a little lower than I'd like when I'm sitting down. And it's um, great for evening type stuff, but I don't think it's big enough to hold everything I like to have with me um, like at a football game, like on a normal type thing. The one bag I really, really want, and um, I'm about to order it online and I just I couldn't get it in in time for the video, Coach makes some really, really great bags. This one is really old. This is, um, I don't even know what kind it is, and this one's in black and has the snap closure and then, you know, the inner pocket. The one I want, I think, is the city bag is the one I'm looking at. And again, you can adjust the strap, you can wear it cross body, it sits the perfect length. I really think Coach just nailed it on the style and the size. So I will list all those below if you're looking. And also, if you know of a great crossbody bag, um, I am particularly on the hunt for a cognac or brown leather saddle bag type bag. Lucky used to make them, Fossil used to make them, and now I can't find them anywhere. So that's what I'm looking for. So just as an aside, if you know of a good one, I have been scouring the malls, websites, can't find anything. These are my must-haves. Vests, but not just any kind of vest. I have had these for a few years, but they are coming in back in with a vengeance, and that is faux fur vests. I have this one in kind of a brownie color, and I have this one in this crazy black and white kind of feathery thing, and you've seen them both in videos. I think they just add so much to an outfit. They instantly glamorize it. They add a little extra warmth if you need it, which, you know, like I said, sometimes you do. I can definitely see me wearing this brown one over that denim dress. That's exactly what I had in mind. So I just, I love vests. Like I said, I think they just add a little extra something to every outfit. If you don't want to wear a whole jacket, it does actually give you quite a bit of warmth if you need it. And I've been seeing them everywhere. Back to Target again. I just saw some in Target yesterday, all the way up to the higher end stuff. If you live near a Cavenders, I don't know if that's only in San Antonio, Texas, or if that's everywhere, but more the Western wear places, don't just sell boots and rhinestone belt buckles. They actually have some great fashion items, and that's where I found both of these vests. So I will link those as well. And then two more things, sorry. Um, I love when I can actually wear closed toed shoes and not sweat, which hasn't happened yet, but. I just got these for the fall and it's all about booties. I love booties, love boots, but I'm really into the booties now. And this is my new one for the fall. I'm incorporating a couple trends here. The booty, the ankle boot, and gray. Although I'd call this like a topish gray. Uh, and these particular ones are from Rag and Bone. I got them at Nordstrom. I don't remember the name of them. I know they have a name. Um, 
they have, they're just, they're easy to walk around in. There's a heel, but it's, you know, stacked and it's not a stiletto, which is kind of nice. And they, that color, I think, goes with everything. This one I got a few seasons ago and I'm still wearing it. I got it for my birthday, I think two years ago now. And this is uh, by Stuart Weitzman. I don't remember the name of this one. I don't even know if it's still available, but I just love anything in a nude color. It doesn't have to be a Stuart Weitzman or a rag and bone boot, but these neutral colors, they go with everything and um, they're a little different than your average black or brown boot, which I have to admit, I also have those as well. But I, I, the ones I wear the most is this one and I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot. And then lastly, it wouldn't be complete without some sort of accessory. And I want to talk about these. Okay, so tortoiseshell is in in a big way. You've seen me wearing this in a few videos. This is um, a tortoiseshell, well, obviously it's faux, tortoiseshell necklace. This one's from Bobble Bar, and it looks really good on my pajamas <laughs> um, against gray, against black. It's really just a great neutral, and I think it's really great for fall. I love how they dress this one up with a little bling. Cause you know me, I love my bling. And then another one I like, instead of scarves, I feel like it's a little too warm where I live for scarves, I like long necklaces. And this incorporates the long necklace trend and my tortoiseshell. This is also happens to be from Bobble Bar. I got this one in a sale they had recently. They now have a new one on the website, which I like a little better. Instead of these links, they're like round discs. So I will link that one below as well. Those are my fall fashion favorites, and I'm really looking forward to actually being able to wear them on a regular basis. I don't know about you, but I'm totally over 90 to 100 degree weather. I'm not entirely sure what that is in Celsius. It's hot. So anyway, I tag anyone and everyone who's watching this. Let me know what you wear in the fall, especially if you live in my part of the world, how you do fall when it's not really all that cold. Anyway, I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Like I mentioned before, everything that I talked about will be linked in the description box below and um, everything that I'm wearing like makeup wise will be listed there as well. So if you're not sure about something, before you ask, take a peek, see if it's covered there. If it's not, go ahead and ask me. I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I had an area on my vanity that I use my current ones and I'm looking at all these and I'm trying to figure out which ones are staying and which ones are going. And let me tell you, until you have them all spread out in front of you, you have 